Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun and exciting makeup tutorial for the holidays. So this is a um, look that I kind of got inspired from um, Max Fashion Week kind of live streaming Instagram stories, Snapchat stories. I saw a lot of not only fake freckles on the runway but fake metallic freckles. And since then I've seen it on Instagram, I've seen it on YouTube, and so I thought I'd kind of like gladden them up a little bit and show you how to get them in a very very simple way that doesn't involve <laughs> cutting foil and pasting it to your face and doesn't involve any of that crazy stuff. It's really just a kind of making your own potions kind of thing. And the real star, so the star of this look that helped me create these amazing metallic freckles is the MAC 205 brush which is this wonderful kind of like um, fanned spiky brush. It's originally used for mascara but it worked wonders for this. I mean, and I'll let you know um, what the pigment I use or the eyeshadow I used was if you keep watching. Gotta hook you in somehow. Oh so, yeah, I really love that trend and I kind of just ran with it and this is what I came up with and I'm kind of really stoked about it. Like I want to wear it to a Christmas party. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it too. You can always take the freckles off, leave them on, take some of the eyeliner off, just kind of tailor it to what you might need and wear it out and just feel really cute and like a fairy princess on Christmas day. Those are my freckle, metallic freckles tutorials, tips, video for the holidays. And if you want to know how I did this look, then keep watching. Hey guys, so I've already um, done my base, primed and prepped my eyelids. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. And we're going to get started on the eye look, which I'm very excited about. So Sephora number 10 brush and a light brown color. And I'm just going to use this to warm up my lid and give it a little bit more life before we start. This is not going to be a very heavy eyeshadow look, so I don't want to go too heavy on the crease. What we're doing is a gradient from glitter to just kind of normal shimmer. So um, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a MAC. I'm taking a MAC 239 with a little bit of Fix Plus. And I'm going to use this copper color. I'm going to take that copper right in the center of the eye and towards the outside. Just like that. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'll put the name of it down in the info bar, but just any copper color will do. ColourPop also has some beautiful shades. Next, I'm going to take the Too Faced Glitter Glue on a Sephora 45 Precision Concealer Brush and I'm going to put that right in that empty space of the inner corner. Peach, no. Good girl. Next, I'm going to take the Too Faced Glitter Glue on a Sephora 45 Precision Concealer Brush and I'm going to put that right in that empty space of the inner corner. Now the glitter I'm using is from Makeup Forever. Um, any copper, any copper slash light gold glitter will do. I'm going to take that on a flat synthetic brush really carefully so I don't spill it everywhere. So I'm going to take that and put it right on top of that glitter glue. And with glitter glue you really want to work one eye at a time so that you don't just lose that stickiness of the glitter glue. You want to keep most of the glitter right on the center and then make it a little more sparse as you move out of the eye. So most of it is going to be right here in the inner corner and it's going to get a little bit less dense the more we move out.
The next step is going to be to take a black tip liner. Peach. She's fighting with the vacuum cleaner. Like taking a black gel liner, I'm using Max Black Track, but you can use whatever works for you, on a MAC 210 brush, which is just a really super skinny brush. And that's really what you want because our black liner is going to stay very close to the lash line, right here. And it's going to almost disappear into your lash line. So you see, it's a very, very small line. Now here comes the tricky part. So you're going to take that uh, liner, you're going to make sure that your brush is nice and flat. So you can do that by just kind of tapping it against the side of the pot. And that's what's going to give you the really, really, really precise lines. So you're going to take that brush and you're going to continue right here, this line that you've got going on in the inner corner, you're going to continue it down. And just make sure that it ends in a point. And if you need to re-flatten your brush, just take your time. I'm sure they're about even in length as far as how far they go down towards your nose. And then you're going to want to bring it in and down here. So this one's really how you want it to look. This one's kind of a, a fuck up. You're gonna load up your brush again with glitter glue. And this is the part where you really need to be really precise. So I'm gonna take that brush again. I'm gonna use the, and I'm using the Sephora 45. And because it's really long and skinny, the side edges is really are really gonna be perfect for this. So I'm using kind of like the side edge. This brush from MAC uh, that came out with their Vibe Tri collection, I'm going to use this really skinny end. Load it up again on the side with the glitter and press it in. Next on the agenda is going to be a little mascara. Um, this is really up to personal preference, so whatever works for you will be perfect. You just need a light coat since we're doing lashes. You don't really need to go heavy on it. The black liner is looking a little dull to me, so I'm going to take the Essence Liquid Liner um, Eyeliner Pen Waterproof. It's not waterproof. And I'm going to go over it with a little bit of this. For the cheeks, I've got a very special kind of thing planned. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Gold mixed in with a little bit of Fix Plus and applied with a MAC 205, which is this kind of spidery brush. So I'm going to make my little cocktail. I'm making my little cocktail of pigment. And I don't know really how I'm going to do this, but I'm kind of just winging it. So I'm taking that brush that's loaded up with pigment, and it's really a watery pigment because we want it to be able to splatter, which is what we're, we're going for with these freckles. So I've loaded the brush up with liquid and spark. I'm kind of just gonna flick it on my skin, so. Yeah, like that. 
Oh, okay, that's not working. So I'm gonna just kind of dab it onto my skin. So that's the kind of the freckles. I'm kind of loving how these came out. So, um, so let me put some lashes on and a lip and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so there you have it basically. The last thing I'm going to do really is to take a small brush and my MAC Oh Darling Skin Finish, which is really just a pale gold highlighter. Anything you have will work just fine and I'm gonna put this right on the cupid's bow with my lips and then a tiny bit on my pout just like that with this kind of look you really don't need a highlighter because the freckles really take it home so the last thing last last thing aside from the first last thing that I'm going to do. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush, this is from Wet n Wild, and my Physicians Formula Bronzer. And I'm just going to warm up my skin. Really work it into the outsides of my face. Kind of trying to steer clear of the freckles so that I don't mess them up. So there you have it. Uh, this is my gold holiday look with some metallic gold freckles. And really you can just take out the freckles and wear this for your Christmas party or your holiday party and it would be perfectly fine but I think the freckles really just like take it over the top. So let me bring you in closer for the freckles. And that is basically it. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.